well hello so today we are going to see about deadlock and its prevention right in its prevention there are basically uh, three things 2pl timeout and timestamp right if this video gets long then i will uh, discuss the prevention in the next video but for this video i am going with deadlock and your 2pl both are so easy okay let's start with what is lock what happens is for a transaction the system locks on a object so that it can go with the transaction smoothly okay suppose for a transaction a system needs x okay Be uh, because suppose that a transmission was like x plus y okay so for this the system needs x and the uh, system says that x is there so the system what it does is it locks the x so that the other transactions cannot use the x so when system locks the x after that it can totally uh, go with the transaction and x plus y can be executed okay this is known as lock so a system locks the object that is needed by a transaction in order to make the transaction smooth this is known as lock so when a deadlock occurs there are many chances the of occurring deadlock why suppose there are two systems both have a uh, object that is needed by other system to complete the transaction okay Suppose there are two systems, uh, both have an object that is needed by other trans other transactions to complete their the whole transactions. So, uh, and they have gathered lock on both of them. So, uh, so and they will not release because they are needed to complete their own transaction. For that, the deadlock occurs. Yeah, you guys didn't understand anything. I get it. Now, suppose um, this transaction locks A. Okay. And this transaction, suppose it locks B. Now, this transaction has A, and this uh, sorry, this transaction has B, and this transaction has A. Okay, it it already has that that value. Now, this uh, this transaction is saying suppose I need to do A plus B, and this transaction is saying suppose I need to do B minus A, whatever. Okay. Now, it have locked A okay it had locked this value and this go guy had locked and this transaction has locked this value it has a fine but it do not has b i mean sorry it has b but it do not has a because this one is not letting a go why why will it because it needs a two okay and this one is not letting b go why will it because it needs b to complete its transaction so neither of them is letting go of any locks and then both of them needs a a object or subject that is belonging to the transaction so as due to this none of them can complete their transaction this is known as your deadlock okay to explain it simpler this guy has the object that is needed by this guy and this guy has the object that is needed by this guy this guy locks one object here and this guy locks another object here until the point when one of them unlocks the object the other cannot proceed okay but they do not have that mind to unlock the, this, this object they are both they both want to go fast okay they both want to complete the transaction due to this reason they are not un un unlocking any of their objects so it locks a a is here so a is locked but uh, it cannot uh, go with uh, the whole transaction because it doesn't has b so it locks b okay to uh, go with this transaction but then it says that it it doesn't have because a is having this guy and this and this i mean sorry this guy is not willing to leave a okay because it needs the whole transaction to complete but th this one says no i need a because i need the whole transaction to complete and also i need b then he says no i need b and i need a okay so this is this is when the problem occurs none of them are, are going to compromise okay none of them are going to release the locks and none of them are trying to solve the problem so because of this reason a deadlock occurs okay so as i said uh, a deadlock prevention out of three types right first of them the simplest one is to use, use your 2pl so before we uh, go jump to the deadlock preventions first let's see what is 2pl 2pl full form is two uh, phase sorry protocols two phase locking protocols what does it means name suggest always always go with the name all right the name has the half the answer the name suggests two phase so it has two phases one phase two phase 
in one phase it locks the object in other phase it releases so if you want to go with the definition you can write a 2pl definition is is the 2pl logging protocol is a protocol that works in two phases in one phase it locks the object and in other phase it releases the uh, lock on the object okay so what happens is when it uh, suppose i'll take this example okay it locks on a all right then uh, it says this guy the you wait you wait for some amount of time it happens i mean it uh, goes on with its transaction and then it releases the lock so now t trick goes okay you release the lock then it's fine i can go with my transaction so it it is fine now because it in one phase it is lo locking the object it is going through the transaction in second phase it is releasing the lock so now the problem is solved so uh, mm, yeah so the, the, this is your deadlock uh, pre, um, i mean deadlock and this is your 2pl okay so um, suppose let's go with mm, the other prevention because we have time right it is only 6 minute video or yeah let, let's go let, let's go yeah let, let's cover this up in one video okay so uh, there are uh, three deadlock preventions right three deadlock preventions if the video is getting way too long guys just just let me know in the comments all right i will um, keep the video short from the next um, time onward then i'll break the videos in five minutes duration okay if it is getting too long all right so now it's um three deadlock uh, preventions are there okay so the first is the simple one using 2pl i have already uh, showed you guys what what is 2pl and how to you know prevent deadlock using that second is timeout now what is timeout suppose a transaction is gathering a uh, lock on an object right a transaction is given a predefined time time in this predefined time it has to gather a lock on an object if suppose it fails to gather this lock okay if uh, in this predefined time it fails to gather th uh, this lock then the transaction assumes that this x has gone to a deadlock situation so it totally aborts this whole transaction uh, this whole thing okay it totally aborts the whole mission or the whole transaction and it does after some time it again starts okay so what is timeout in timeout uh, a transaction uh, tries to gather a lock on an object for a predefined time if in the predefined time it doesn't gather the lock on the object then it assumes that a deadlock has occurred and it totally uh, abandons the whole process and, and it's after some time it starts again okay and the third one this is the most important one because this will be asked everywhere and that is timestamp prevention by which i mean wait die wait wound uh wound wait whatever you want to call it yeah these two are the most important of to come why are they all important Let's see. What would what they say is suppose transaction T T S is transaction, right? There is transaction T1 and there is transaction TJ. If transaction T1 is greater than I mean uh, sorry, it is where data, my bad. Okay. If transaction T1 is less than TJ, then T1 waits for some time waits to get the lock get the lock okay if uh, sub, uh, let me write this if if uh, transaction t1 is uh, less than tj it waits for some time to get the lock okay if it cannot get the lock then uh, suppose if it can get the lock can't get the lock then T1 rolls back rolled back now what is rolling back rolling back is basically your um, 
terminating okay that is this t1 is again terminated and the whole process is again restarted after some time that is this t1 waits for the uh, the lock and this whole process is started again sometime this is known as a rolling back okay so don't get confused by rollback rollback means basically terminating this process like here we did okay so so yeah so uh, like here we did okay so rollback is basically your terminating the whole process so t1 rolls back here and it again starts suppose if uh, transmission ti is greater than tj right transmission tj ti waits always remember ti is the one who waits for same reason to get the lock okay if now the interesting part if the lock is not gathered then tj rolled back hence the name und okay yeah so hence the name uh, und wait okay und what is und that is ti is unding tj that way that that why the name is und right so hence now here tj rolls back that is tj is terminated and again it it winds up and then ti waits and this thing continues so uh, to cover these all things up so there are uh, uh, what is deadlock what is that what is lock lock is the uh, i mean getting a secure lock on your object so to the whole transmission can go smoothly what is deadlock if t1 and t2 are there if t1 has a subject that is obtained by t2 and he locks it and then again t2 has a subject that is obtained by t1 and he locks it then none of them can proceed to that further transaction and this is known as a deadlock okay now what uh, now in deadlock there are three preventions 2pl your 2pl timeout timestamp what is 2pl two phase lock in one phase it locks in other phase is releases the lock okay now comes what is timeout in timeout uh, t1 waits for a predefined time uh, to get a lock on the object if it doesn't if it can get then it assumes that the object is in you know deadlock situation and it crosses it or, or i mean it abandons it yeah and in timestamp there are two methods wait die and don't wait in wait die if transition ti is less than tj then ti waits to get the lock if it doesn't then ti is rolled back and if in don't wait if transition ti is greater than tj then ti waits again tj is rolled back the important part is uh, this okay in wait die remember ti must be less than tj in don't wait ti must be greater than tj the both uh, in both ti waits do not get confused in both ti wait waits in for wait die ti is rolled back in don't wait tj is rolled back okay again ti is less than tj und wait ti waits for both here ti is rolled back here tj is rolled back that's it so hope you guys understood yeah um okay then see you guys in the next video bye